Yes, guys, welcome back to Free Game Friday. Today's episode is all about risk management and leverage trading strategies. A lot of questions have been going off in the Discord regarding leverage, regarding futures trading as a whole. And this is going to clear up a lot of uh, confusion or any sort of questions that we've had, basically. I'm going to walk you through the whole process of understanding what leverage is right to the end of, of taking a trade and understanding the different contexts, market structure, scenarios, and different sort of... Um, context that we would use different styles of leverage in i'm also going to show you over blowfin just to get you familiar and understand how to actually set up trades and so on and so forth as well so yeah let's get stuck into it so an introduction into leverage and margin right so what is leverage leverage is essentially you're borrowing money from the exchange to gain more exposure to a certain asset right it allows you to control a larger position with a small amount of capital yeah like let me go over to blowfin now so here we're on Blowfin. Yeah, this is a exchange that I myself like to use. And we are on the futures account. I've moved all my money out of the futures account. We've got $100 in there, right? Available $100, yeah? So say, for example, right? Say this is an 100K account, right? And I like Bitcoin at this price, right? Boom. That's where I want to trade from. I really like Bitcoin here. Yeah, bang. Um, and, you know, you've got all the uh, charting stuff here as well. So you can do the stop loss placement and so on and so forth. You can do all this stuff, right? Say, for example, I want to buy, you know, $100 worth of Bitcoin, right? And I'm going to use 1x leverage and I'm going to use all of my margin, right? So I'm using all, I'm using all of this capital, everything, 100% of the account with 1x leverage. That would mean I'm buying $94 worth of Bitcoin. The minute I go 2x leverage, right? I'm now buying $200 worth of Bitcoin because I'm borrowing two times my margin. If I go 3x, I'm borrowing three times. If I go, so I've got $300. If I go 5x, I'm borrowing $500, right? Now, as you can see, if I go to 1x again, the liquidation price is nothing because I'm buying I'm, I, I'm, it's almost like buying spot, really. It's almost like buying spot. You, you, you're buying the actual liquidation price. It would have to go to zero. The minute I go 2X, right? The liquidation price is $29, yeah? 29, 29K, that's 50% below the entry price, right? So if we got this and went like this, oh my God, I'll zoom out more it would be 50% below, right? So Bitcoin would have to correct um, 50% for you to be liquidated, for you to be out of the trade. If we go 3X, right? It would be, the liquidation price here would be $40, uh, 40K, sorry for that guys. It would be 40K, so you'd have to, the, the, mark, the asset would have to uh, come down 33% for you to be liquidated out of the trade. That's because you're, that's because in order for the um, exchange to protect their capital, they need a place for you to get out. And we'll go over to that in the next part of the um, in the next part of the video. So just a bit about liquidation. Liquidation occurs when your position is closed automatically by the exchange to prevent further losses beyond your margin. The liquidation level is determined by the amount of leverage and margin you use. Like we've just explained there, if you were using 2x leverage on Solana using $10,000, the asset must drop 50% for you to take the liquidation point, right? We've just shown you that on the charts, yeah? So that's some sort of way that you can use. People sometimes do it, you know, if you want to take a trade, right, on your futures account and you have a $1,000, 100K portfolio, you can just move 10K or you can just move the K into the futures account, right? And then you can just trade that and then that can be your... That can be your, um, what's it called? That can be your stop loss, the liquidation level, right? There are other ways we can do it and I'm gonna explain it in a second. So, let's, so let's, let me do, just talk you through this. So low leverage strategies, using low leverage with high margin, right? This strategy uh, involves putting up a larger margin with your low leverage, which offers a broader exposure without precise entry requirements, right? Ideal for traders who give a broad perspective on the market and want to gain exposure without taking on too much risk. Let's go to back to Blowfin. Right, so say for example, right, let me go to Solana because we the, the example is on Sol and the charts a bit. Oh. So if we go, sorry, Sol. Right, so say for example, um, we wanna, so say for example, we, say, say this is a 100K account, but say this is all of our capital, this $100, right? And we have a very high conviction on Solana from here. 
right? And we, we do want to take full advantage of this next move higher, right? And we understand that 50%, just this is a, this is a, this is a sped up example, but we, we think that 50% is way out of core for where we currently are, right? We, we can't see, based on all of our analysis and based on the market sentiment, Solana will come back lower than here, right? We, do, we can't. And, and, and that's our, we're happy to risk this anyway because we're traders and we understand the risk. But we want to put up quite a bit of margin, but we want a 2x leverage. So we're looking to get involved in this trade with a large portion of our account. So what we'll do is we'll maybe say, right, we're going to put 10% or maybe 20% of our account on this trade, right? And we're going to use a 2x leverage, yeah? So this is quite a big margin bet with, with, with a futures account. And just say this is relative to whatever is a relatively big bet for you. We're going to put up 20, 20K, right? Um, and we, we have a very high conviction Sol is going to move higher. We want to gain extra exposure. So we're now, we, we, we haven't got 20K worth of exposure. We've actually got 40K worth of exposure, right? Um, Yeah, sorry. We've actually got forty k worth of exposure. So we're buying forty thousand dollars or forty forty dollars in this example worth of Solana, right? And then all we do is literally just click buy. We know our liquidation price is um, fifty percent lower, right? So that's how it works. Simple as that. And then we're in the trade, right? Don't we don't really need to close it. We can leave it. Oh yeah, we'll close it because we don't want orders to just fill up for no reason. But that's how it works, right? So you you know you have like a vaguer sort of perspective on the market, and you want to get exposed, right? You, you you're not trying to be too precise. You just have a high conviction, and you want to gain a bit more exposure, yeah. And you can have stop losses on there. So say for example, you know you now know that you've borrowed, uh, and you've doubled you, your, your, your you've had you've put twenty dollars up as margin. You've doubled it, so now you've got forty dollars worth of exposure, right? What's forty? So, so if you wanted to only risk, you know, half of that or or ten percent of that, while still having that exposure, you can put a stop loss on which has a ten percent value. You can put a stop loss on which has a twenty percent value. So that's how you work that out. Whatever you're exposed to Solana, which is forty dollars, whatever you're happy. To, to lose of that of that twenty percent margin, right? Because that is what your that that is what you're going to get knocked out the margin. Whatever you're happy to lose is that is where you would have your stop loss. Okay. So if you've put twenty dollars if you put twenty dollars up and you're exposed forty percent, you need to understand the value of the, of the actual trade is 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 what's going to eat away at your margin. Okay. So the value of the trade is now forty dollars. So if you were to lose ten percent, you'd be losing four dollars. Right, if you were going to lose twenty percent, you'd be losing eight dollars. Yeah, so you need to understand that, and when you're putting your stop loss, because that's the value of the setup. That's the value of the trade you put on. You borrowed the margin. You you you've borrowed the capital using your margin. So always remember that that the stop loss is going to be calculated by the value of the trade, not just the twenty dollars you have put up. That's really important to understand. I'll use a better, better a better round number in a minute so you can understand because we with the smaller leverage trades it, it makes more sense. But yeah so lower leverage strategies there Tom uses it quite a lot. It's having a high conviction and you might want to capture a move but you want to gain more exposure so you borrow more money using a higher margin, right? Basically. High leverage trading strategy. So using high leverage with lower margin. So 5x or 10x. High leverage requires precision. You need to be exact with your entry points and use tight stop losses. This strategy is for traders who are confident in their analysis and can manage risk correctly. Simply as that. A stop loss is crucial in managing risk because it is the, it's the only control you have once the trade is placed. High leverage with well-placed stop losses allow you to protect your capital and execute effectively. Right? So let's go over to the charts again, just so I can explain this better. So we're going to go a little bit more precise with this one, right? We're going to borrow. So say, for example, again, this is a 100K account. We're going to put $10 up or, or 10K up as margin. And we're going to use 10X leverage. Well, I'll use these actual numbers just to keep things very, very simple because I don't want to confuse people, right? So we have put $10 up and we use 10X leverage. We're now, we're now actually entering in a $100 trade, right? And we've only put $10 up as margin. This is really important. The only way you would ever do this, yeah, now, because your value of your trade, what you're happy to risk needs to be known. So if I put a stop loss on this position, right, and I have 10x leverage with $10 as my margin, 
I'm now buying $100 worth of Solana, not $10 worth of Solana, $100, right? So if I wanted to only lose $10 in that trade, right? Or if I wanted to only lose, say, $5 in that trade, um, Sorry, no, if, if, I, if, I, if I wanted to lose only, yeah. So if I wanted to only use, lose $10 in that trade, I get so confused with this myself, right? You would have to have a 10% stop loss, basically. So your stop loss could be here. And, you know, we would know that you're not gonna, the, the whole, they're not gonna try and margin call your account. They're not gonna take any more capital out the rest of your uh, futures account. You would be taken out of the trade here, okay? Because 10% of 100 is the $10 that you're putting up for margin. So that's how you can use it to calculate it. Some people talk about 10X leverage is a dangerous amount to use, it's not. Not if you do this properly. So if I have uh, 100, I'm buying now buying $100 worth of Solana and it goes down 10%, I get stopped out here, right? I get stopped out, I lose $10, right? But I know that because that's what I'm happy to risk. And I'm looking for 3X. And we go on in a minute why 3X is a really good leverage amount, uh, a really good risk management sort of allocation to use and allocate to the portfolio, um, to, to, to like a trading series. This is when you would use, this is what you would use if you had a very high conviction on a potential range that may not play out yet, or you wanted to have more capital free to allocate to other sort of positions, maybe spot positions. Maybe you want to get in Solana with uh, high, uh, high leverage, low margin, but you want to get in an ETH trade with high margin, low leverage, and you want to distribute your capital and be um, strategic about it. This is how you do it, right? So here's the strategy that you can do that with. You need to ensure when you do this that you understand this value of the stop loss. That is the most important thing. Whatever margin you're using, whatever leverage you're using, if you're risking quite a lot, right, which is what we're doing here because it's high leverage. We're not really risking a lot because we know the value of the stop loss. But if you are starting to use high leverage and stuff like that, understand the value of the stop loss and stick to it so you can ensure your risk management is correct. There is nothing else that you can control in this game other than your risk. Everything else is out of your control. Whatever the asset does, the market crashes tomorrow, the market goes to a million tomorrow, whatever happens, the only thing you can control is your risk, right? When you start to get too overconfident, messing around, over leveraging, just putting stupid amounts onto these positions is where you're eating away at capital stupidly. Always be very, very strict with yourself. Always be very calculated with yourself when you use marginal leverage in any way. If you lose it using low leverage, high margin, high, marg uh, high margin, low leverage, don't care. Make sure that you understand what you're, what you're about to lose in that trade. Do the calculations, it takes five minutes, right? It's maths. I'm useless at maths, I'm, I'm the worst at it, but you have to know it, guys. And I really, really, this is, not, this is a serious video, yeah? Because a lot of people go off and use leverage, and we're in a bull market, where if you just protect capital, put it in some of the assets that we picked this year, you'd make way more money than half the leverage traders out there are doing anyway, right? That know what they're doing. Yeah, so if you are gonna dabble in this, be safe with it, right? And really be strategic with it. If you're gonna start using like 10X and you wanna, you know, have a strategy, stick to that risk management protocol. Don't over risk, don't over leverage it, right? If I've got a 10, if I've got a 100K account, I might do the 10 10 X leverage strategy and only risk $100. If, if, if one comes out, I make $3,000 and that can happen over a very short period, right? Because I'm looking for smaller minor movements in, 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 in the trading series. If I want to do a 2x leverage with, with high margin, I might do that. But I want to know exactly where I want to get out, what I'm actually happy to lose on that trade, and is it a good risk reward bet, okay? So like we said, risk management is the only controllable variable in trading. You can't control the market's outcomes, but you can control how much you risk. It's the most critical decision you make in trading. It's what keeps you in the game. It really is. Like, I mean that, guys. This is where you will separate yourself from every other idiot out there that trades and people that really make money. It's in risk management. It's not in having fancy charts. It's not in making crazy risk to reward ratio trades. It's in being able to be very, very disciplined and strategic with how you allocate your capital in certain market environments and controlling your risk. I promise you that is what is the difference between winners and losers in, in trading and cryptocurrency and in every single trading aspect, in, in any sort of market, in any asset class, it's this, all right? So when to use high conviction trades? A trading series is, uh, is appropriate when you have a high conviction in the market direction, precise levels you want to enter, scale into trades at key levels and use leverage strategically to maximize your gains. A little bit more advanced, but we help you out with it. Where you would use like 10x leverage and stuff like that is where you would, where you might want to have very aggressive like, 
where you see the market and you might want to get involved in a position and then you, you believe if you breach a certain level, you might want to roll stops, re-enter and so on and so forth. Like we discuss all the time in the Discord, um, we are going to do a video on how to scale in and how to size up positions and stuff like that as well. So I'll save that for a separate video, okay? But anyway, conclusion. Leverage is a powerful tool that can amplify both gains and risks. Understanding how to use it in conjunction with margin and risk management is crucial, right? Liquidation, le uh, leverage, and stop losses are all fundamental concept that every trader must grasp to successfully begin. Please, if, if everybody watches this and there's any confusion, just fire out questions in the Discord, right? Because this can make or break you, this sort of stuff. If you can get really, really good and confident with this and you understand that what you're doing and you have very good strategy around it, you really can become more powerful. It's a tool. You shouldn't be scared of leverage. Don't think my rant before should scare you off. It should excite you, but just understand the risks behind it, yeah? And this is a serious game. Trading's a big industry. It's one of the most competitive, hardest skill sets in the world to use. Take your time with this. When you start getting involved in leverage, use, it, use the $100. Mess around with $100 for a bit. Mess around with 500, 1,000, whatever is small to you. Have a little joke with it. Mess around. Throw some trades into the Discord. Have fun. Get some feedback. And slowly begin and grow and size up and get more confident, okay? Don't just go and start putting 2x leverage on your account because you think the market's going to go up. It's these decisions people make that fucks everything up and people get unbalanced with their emotions. I promise you, good habits from the beginning will set you apart. You'll look back in a few years, you'll be ahead of everybody else and you'll be really in a good place. But it all comes from good habits at the beginning. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it cleared up lots of confusion around leverage trading. Any more questions, fire in the Discord. Hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the next episode.